Let's zoom in on the Philippines. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. says he's not seeking confrontation with China, even as his country works harder to assert its territorial claims in disputed waters. He spoke to me exclusively at the presidential palace here in Manila. The threat has grown. Um, and since the threat has grown, we must uh, do more to, to defend our, our uh, territory. And uh, so maybe perhaps that's what, that has, uh, what we people, people are seeing, uh, is that a more robust defense of our, of our territorial rights uh, as uh, recognized by the international community through international law, through the UNCLOS, um, and uh, we, we, we hew very close to that. We, we do not, we do not leave uh, very, uh, we, do not, we have not instigated any kind of conflict. We have not instigated any kind of confrontation. We are just trying to feed our people. The but U.S. has weighed in. It constantly points to Article 5 of the Mutual Defense Agreement, mm -hmm. which was signed in 1951. Yeah. It now says that it now extends to all armed conflicts, mm. armed attacks mm. in all, in any area of the South China Sea. In practice, mm. what exactly does that mean? That uh, an a, a incursion, for example, uh, to occupy, uh, which has already happened, but we are still trying to, 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 to keep it uh, uh, peaceful. Uh, but you see, we are avoiding <laughs> We avoid, as I said, we think about peace in the, in the national interest. It, is, it does not serve any purpose to heighten tensions, to say, okay, I am invoking now the Mutual Defense Treaty. And uh, that, that I don't think anyone wants that, unless... You've asked a very difficult question here. Um, <laughs> unless, unless the... The effects are such that it is a threat, it, is, it will become an existential threat to the country. Then I think it's very easy to say that uh, that, 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 would, uh, that would trigger uh, the, the mutual defense treaty, the agreement between the United States and the Philippines. How confident are you about U.S. support? How far do you think the U.S. would go to support the Philippines in the South China Sea? Well, that, that's far. Uh, we we can say that the United States has been very uh, certainly very supportive in every in every way, and um, and it has uh, the United States has really uh, shown uh, that it takes very seriously these agreements that we have, and so but it is dangerous for one to think in terms of when something goes wrong we'll run to Big Brother. Uh, that, that's not the way we treat it at all. I say, we, 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 we do this for ourselves. We do this because we feel that we have to do it. And it's not at the behest or at the, of, of the United States. Just to follow up on that, how confident are you the U.S. is willing to go to war with China over a disputed reef in the South China Sea? Oh, God. Uh, you, how far is the U.S. prepared to go? What are your talks suggesting to you? Well, I, I really... Uh, we, we would... That, to take, the, take the, a step back from that question is that that is precisely what we want to avoid. Uh, we want to do everything we possibly can, together with our partners and allies, to avoid that situation whatsoever. This is, this is not... This is not the... Uh, uh, poking the, the bear, as it were. Uh, we are trying quite to, to, to do quite the opposite. You know, we, we are trying to, to keep things uh, at a the, at the manageable level, uh, to continue the dialogues, whatever they are, at every level. And we have initiated many of those dialogues. At the, we have dialogues at the sub-ministerial level, at the ministerial level, and at the executive level. And so, I think that that's what we have to continue because uh, it, it, it would, the, the, there are many volatilities in the area, in the region. Back in May, you talked about how Philippine military bases will not be used for offensives no. against China. No. Do you still maintain that position? Yes, of course. Of course. 
we have no we have no interest in 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 attacking anything or anyone uh not at all uh, that, that is the furthest thing from our mind uh, that, no we would not we would not allow that uh unless we're at war perhaps but we that's why that's why that's why we want to keep away from that uh, that situation as uh, as as much as we can for 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 and maintain that uh, maybe it's an uh, it could you you could describe it as an uneasy peace but it's peace nonetheless you're sitting on one of the fastest growing mm. countries in asia is that sustainable can you achieve six and a half to seven and a half percent growth for the year for instance I think so. I think uh, well, much of much of the policies that we uh, that we've uh, uh, taken on are are really to 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 spur growth. It, uh, that is part of the most that's the most important part because it is only growth that will pull us out of uh, this the, the morass that was left after the pandemic. And uh, uh, even in terms of inter even in terms of debt ratios, even in terms of uh, uh, unemployment, in, in terms of inflation, it really is growth. It, it, that, 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 that seems to be the key. Is it sustainable if we continue down this road, if we defend all of the things that we are doing? I believe it is. Um, I believe it is. If we are also agile in terms of responding to the shocks that come up, come up uh, from, other, from, from the outside, uh, to put it that way, uh, shocks that we cannot control or can have very little influence over. If any, so that's the, that will be the key. It's a six-year term. Do you think you can get to eight percent within the six oh. years that you're in office? Sure. Why not? Um, uh, you know, uh, there, there's no. We plan. We always plan for the ideal. We don't plan for uh, the, a, a mediocre result. We plan for a very good result. Um, and as I said, we just have to adjust along the way as we as we uh, uh, continue to, to transform the economy. But yes, I, I think it is. I think it is doable. Several banks are currently in focus because of interest rates. In the Philippines, rates are at, I think, 17-year highs. How much room is there for you to cut rates, or rather the BSP to cut rates? We're still battling inflation. Uh, inflation is still our biggest uh, problem. Uh, that we, and when you, when you separate core inflation, to inflation that involves agri-product, for example. Uh, you can see that the core inflation, we're doing rather well in terms of controlling it. But again, these, these shocks that keep coming in. But still not quite the time to cut rates because inflation is still sticky. Perhaps uh, it, it, we, we look at it all, almost every, every week uh, to see if it's time to, to, to bring down the rates. We are not yet there. And the peso at a three month high? Are you comfortable with I'm so, the, the, peso, the, the peso? peso at a three Yes, month because it's an indication of the strength of the economy. Um, there is a downside to it for the Philippines because of our overseas workers, where the dollar is worth a little less than it normally would be. But uh, I, I see it as an, as an affirmation that the economy has, has grown stronger.